Howdy folks and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Today we're going to do a hula popper video. So uh, let's just jump in there feet first and get her done. You want to? We're going to be using uh, apple barrel, real yellow. Apple barrel flag red, apple barrel hot saffron, going to be using a metallic purple, and color shift green flash. So uh, let's just jump in here and do it. So let's start with our real yellow. Out of that one, I'm gonna have to go buy some more. So, thin her out just a little bit. Just turn this bait yellow, you want to. Rotate them good until they get worn good, you know. So there's our yellow put on there. So let's clean our brush and uh, let that dry for a minute. And then we'll move on to our next color, which is going to be our purple. Okay. Let's uh, get our purple mixed up here. Well, that's a drying, and we'll heat set it just before we get ready to put another coat. I got the fans going over there, so it's drying on its own pretty good. And it's not overly cold here today. So, we're supposed to be in the mid 70s today. Spring's approaching, and I'm ready for it. So, we can get started on our. Uh, Tura New Mexico Lake videos that's coming up for y'all. And what that's going to do is uh, we're going to tour quite a few of the lakes here in New Mexico and uh, national parks and uh, we're going to paint baits while we're on the tour to what is working best on each lake here. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I know the wife is. She got to buy a new RV or travel trailer just for this. And just because she wanted one and said, you give me one. Just because I said what? Give me one. Whatever. Let's get our little bit of purple poured up there. We'll heat set this yellow right quick. Let's start putting some purple on here. I'm just going to go down to about the lateral line. If you get down a little bit, it's all right. first two colors on so we're gonna do a wrap on this bait and we're gonna come back over that purple with a color shift 
green flesh. That's going to look pretty spiffy there, Melissa. Put that color shift green on it. So I'm going to let this dry good so that I can wrap it. I'm going to clean my brush and we'll be back shortly. Alright folks, we're back working on our hula popper. So at this point, we've got our purple all dried up nice and pretty. So I'm going to wrap this. Put a nice wrap on it. It's going to be the most different this hula popper I've ever seen. But that's okay. Unique baits are sometimes some of the best baits. Throw something at them they had never seen before. That's my own opinion, but that's the way I think about things. A lot different than everybody else. So if you tune in to the end of this video, you're going to see something else that we do, uh, me and my wife. I don't know whether she'll put it in the end, whether she'll put it at the beginning, because I don't do that. If I had to edit videos, there would be no ugly dog videos, folks. That's not true. You said you were going to try to learn. Yeah. I didn't say when. Ooh. I'm fixing to get my butt chewed, folks. You watch. Color shift green, baby. Would you like a drink? No. No. You're not that much into painting that you drink the paint? No. Well, that's just kind of mean. What are you being to the paint for, woman? It doesn't like me. It's all over me. y'all are enjoying these videos folks we sure are enjoying making them and I learn a lot from other painters I mean a lot each one of them very special very unique baits I mean I just they're becoming my family is what they're doing Got a little bit of color shift green in there. So how about we just uh I want to find my there they are. So I know that I'm gonna need them. Move that dude over there for a minute. Where I can roll that bait a little better. Color shift green. Here we go. Get a couple more pounds of pressure on there. exactly what I was after. That's cooler than an abandoned beer truck, folks. Not sure if these will squeeze together enough to do that, but maybe they will. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That was awesome. That dude's going to be a completely different bait. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
Very nice. Well, let's let that dry for a few minutes and uh, put the finishing touches on it and uh, we'll paint our eyes on and we'll uh, get some epoxy on it and hang it up there to dry and then we'll get a tail put on it and be done with this video. So, absolutely. Yep, I really like that, Melissa. And I did order some uh, different tails so we can do some different different patterns. Uh, you'll be surprised, but our next pattern is going to probably be way different. All I'm going to tell you is it's going to involve a hula popper. But that's a video for down the road, so. It'll take them tails a little bit to get here. So now we're gonna put orange on here under the throat. And then we're gonna do the mouth red. Then we'll paint the eyes on it. Here in a little bit. And I'm not putting any glitter in this bait. I do have plants for glitter for two of them. Put that down the road again, because we got 10 of them to paint, folks. Okay. Well, let's get us a little bit of orange. Throw it under there. the mouths on these I uh, I just take that bait and I wrap my thumb around it take me a little piece of paper towel and stick there and I come up with this and so we just Reach in there and paint that dude red. There's our red mouth. Little orange underneath. So now we're to that old dreaded part of putting an eyeball on there. Which is not going to be too hard. I'm going to wash a little bit of that red paint off my finger there. Of course, somebody thinks I murdered somebody. Uh, that's a cool boat. I'll fish that through in a minute. Throw something different at them they had never seen. Okay, now, I've got a 
finally figure out what I want to do here. So. Epoxy this dude and hang him up. Okay, one and one on this bad boy. So let's throw us a little epoxy on this old thing and see what we got. so that epoxy can set over the top of them. I think it's looking pretty sharp, Melissa. First little hula popper. Now we gotta kinda learn the bait and how to paint them. you later. Howdy folks, this is the old ugly dog here and the ugly dog's beautiful wife. So today, and I'm going to add this into this video that's coming out, but uh, let me kind of explain to you the life that we live. I make 90% of everything that we have. I'll build it myself. And this is my smoker. And this smoker was built in 1982. It was a project in high school. Me and my dad and my cousin uh, built this as one of my projects. Uh, in uh, 2015, I guess it's probably 15 or 14, my son took it over and put the diamond plate and he cut all this stuff out on it here and around the front. It's got a big hog around the front. And, but this was a project of mine. Then, and it'll probably pass down to my son when, I, when I'm not around. So, uh, but this thing is awesome. We use it a lot. I used to do some competitive cooking. There's probably been two million pounds of meat cooked on this thing over the last 35 years but this is the life that my wife leads I get up I got the smoker started I got her up she took a shower I took her to breakfast and while she was getting all ready for all of that this is what I'm doing right here I'm cooking her briskets for supper so she's gonna have brisket and baked potatoes I'll put baked potatoes on here and uh, no telling what else we do. We may put some jalapeno poppers on after a while. 
but this is what what me and her love to do and it, and it's not it's about spending time together and we'll have friends over and they'll help us eat that tonight I guarantee you but uh, that's something that I absolutely love to do is cook and paint and build so uh, this up here is actually an oven and I bake bread in this oven on this thing and around to the front is the cutout that my son did for me with the pig it kind of looks like me if you look at him and uh, he put our name across here the wideners and he put me a pig in that diamond plate and this diamond plate folks I used to own a construction company was actually on the countertops in a house that we remodeled and we upcycled it uh, everything on this trailer on this smoker is upcycled this is a drive line off a of 72 Lincoln Continental that I pulled out of the junkyard this was a boiler out of a, Madison, or a motel in Madisonville Texas the trailer used to be a ditcher on a farm that we upcycled uh, everything on here we upcycled uh, we need to replace the wood the wood's been on there for five or six years and we need to get that done and that's a project that we're fishing going to jump into but this is the kind of life that me and her lead we cook we paint we sell houses i go to work we go to the lake we go to the mountains that's just what we do uh, so that's that's going to be dinner tonight so i hope y'all enjoyed this little short spurt of a video but uh don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do it just get out there and do it and you can tell by the welding that i sucked at welding at uh 16 years old 15 years old whatever i was it's been so damn long i can't remember so uh okay now we're gonna jump back to our uh hula popper video so you folks have a blessed one